it's me triple g and welcome back to another youtube video today guys we are finally hopping back into some glam the glam part of our channel and i'm excited to do this today we're going to be getting into our fall vibes a little bit of glitter and definitely some smoky action going on i don't know what specific direction like will it be a cut crease is it just going to be like your normal smoky eye type direction we're just going to go with the flow and see what comes up so if you're interested stick stick along follow along both <laughs> yes and before we get started if you're into gaming i recently have posted another life is strange video i have it popping up in this corner and if you're also interested in watching house of ashes another game that i've been posting recently it'll also be linked right here right here so let's get right into it guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell notification so you'll be ready when I post another video so let's get right into it <laughs> all right guys I'm back I have already put on my moisturizer my eyebrows and I've already primed my eyelids out this video is solely about the um, eyeshadow so we're gonna get right into that and waste no time Okay, first we're gonna go right into our Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette, and we're gonna be dipping right into this nude shade right here. We're gonna be putting that all over our lid, like so, and just bounce it all over the top of your lid. Cover the whole thing. And next, we're gonna be in the same palette still, but we're gonna be using this nice brown shade, nice chocolatey brown shade. And we're gonna be putting that right into our crease. We're gonna tap, tap, tap. With a semi-fluffy brush, nothing too like soft, but you also want it to be soft enough so it's good for blending. So we're gonna be putting this right into our crease. We're gonna go all like almost creating like a halo shape in that natural depth around the entire lid we're gonna be putting this color all in there and take your time you don't have to put a bunch at once because we want this to be like a nice soft blend nothing too harsh but we want it to stand out at the same time and as you're doing this guys, what I found that helps me out is I like lift my eyebrows up like this, hold it there and then blend in because it helps stretch out your lid so that you can really work the color into your skin in the right spot. Also guys, when you're doing any kind of blending, especially when you're wanting it to be like wispy and nice and soft looking, make sure you're going in with circles when you're putting it in, just like so. I'm going in circular motions and depending on the, the, the <laughs> depending on the direction you're going or blending in is what will depend on which way you'll circle. So like when I'm going like towards my left, I blend with circles going towards the left. Like you wouldn't do the opposite. You make the circle in the direction you're going. Yeah. <laughs> and next in the same palette, we are going to go into this nice peachy color right here and we're, what we're going to do with that color is we're going to tap 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 another semi fluffy brush but it's like a little bit more narrow it doesn't like widen out at the um end of it knock off your extra because we don't want this part to be very like very strong colored we want to like blend out the edges of the brown that we just put and also add a little more like gradient of colors on our eyelid to make it really pop so what we're gonna do we're gonna go right at the edge of where the brown has stopped and what I like to do I like to tap first and then start doing slower circles and slower smaller circles right at the edge of our brown and it's basically the same technique as what we did with the brown but we're staying on the edges of the brown I'm gonna go and finish that real fast. And now we're gonna be getting into the Nubian 2 palette. And we're gonna be using the color Jazabelle. It's like, oops, sorry guys. It's like a nice deep purple 
almost it almost kind of uh, kind of has a very faint hint of brown in it in my opinion and it's nice and fall and I love it I was going to do brown for this next step but then I was like well let's let's add in some purples there's like nice dark purples in the fall type vibe too so I'm gonna be a little different I have uh, a really nice soft fluffy brush this time it's the varieties of fluffy brushes I love them um and this br specific brush kind of goes more into a point so I'm going to be putting this color on the point tap off the excess a little bit and we're basically just deepening the brown that we already have like that first color we use we're putting this pretty much on top of it and just blending it all together so maybe even like a little bit lower just a tad and we're going to use that same blending technique with the circles just like this make sure you can see and even a little bit when you're doing this you can like start to go in like right here inward right here but only on the outer side don't go in too far we only want to go a little bit of the court a court bro what is happening <laughs> we only want to go like a quarter of the way into our lid and keep the rest of it on and in the crease and now that we have our purple in our crease, I'm going to go back, in, well not really back, but I'm going to go into Kenya, the color Kenya, this nice deep brown color, and almost kind of like revitalize the brown that we had put in before. I want to use this color this time because it's a tiny bit darker and I want a little bit more depth in the like, just the outer edges of our crease. So we're going to tap, tap, tap into it and knock it off. And then we're gonna do a quick little bounce just right in the edge of our eyelid. And we're not gonna bring it all the way over, but we're gonna create a nice like ombre effect into the um, inner eye. And then once we've started getting that color and with our tapping, we're gonna start really blending inward. By inward, I mean blending in. I shouldn't have said it like that to create a little bit more depth and you can bring it in to the um this part of your eyelid too like how we did with the purple a little bit and make sure guys when you're going back in with this darker color we're not blending outward like how we did with the original colors that we put like the purple and the first brown we put we're keeping this color specifically closer to the bottom of the purple but also a little bit on top, kind of like half and half, if that makes sense. And we're just gonna keep it in this specific spot. We don't wanna flare out because that'll ruin the whole like effect of the look. Okay, next we're gonna go right into our lid, like the bottom section of our lid. And we're gonna be going right into the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette. It looks like this. <laughs> It smells absolutely immaculate. I love this palette and the colors are beautiful. And we're gonna go right into this shade. It's like a pinkier nude. And honestly, at this part, I was contemplating if I wanted to leave it like how it was and then go in with our glitter, or did I wanna put a little bit of shadow right there? But I think I want to add a little bit of, I don't wanna say pinkish tones, it's more nude, but I wanna like warming it up a little bit, just a tad, just a tad. <laughs> and also will work really nice with the glitter we're going to be using today. I'm all tongue tied today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we're gonna just tap right into there and tap off that excess. And we're gonna put it all over the lid. It's not a dramatic color, just something nice that I thought would look really well, would work really well with our eyelid today. And we're going to put it in the area of like, think of it as you're doing a cut crease. So we're going to put this shade in the shape and area of where you would do a cut crease. I didn't actually cut the crease because I wanted it to be more of like a, like how I explained earlier, more wispy and blended in a nice like gradient look gradient effect 
like almost ombre-ish, I guess, if that makes more sense. Not I guess, like that's that's what I mean. <laughs> and we're gonna wisp this into where we have put our dark color right on this section of our eyelid. We're going to move this color right into it to create a more blend effect. And make sure you do your bouncing motions too. So it also helps you to blend into the colors we have above it. And put it everywhere that doesn't have color in this section. Okay, now before we get into glitter, I'm going to go right back into that brown we just used. Just a very tad pinch. And I'm going to like re wisp a little bit in there you could also use the purple in this instance if you want to but i want to kind of bring a tad bit of that brown back into there a little bit and wisp forward but still staying in this like area of your eyelid give it like a more smoky effect and we're just literally just kind of like dusting it on like so forward and backward. Bro, I'm over here getting ahead of myself. We're not getting into glitter just yet. We're gonna get into liner and I'm gonna pop this black right into the my waterline. And this is by BH Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite black liner pencils. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, I have the black in my waterline. And now before we fully finish our eye look, I'm gonna go into putting my foundation, my whole face on except lipstick. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right, now that we are done with our face makeup, we're gonna go right back into finishing our eyeshadow. We're gonna go back into the Nubian 2 palette and we're gonna get right back into the purple. We're gonna take this brush that we used earlier for that light pink that we put on our lid. I wiped it off on my makeup towel I have right down here. You could do it on paper towel. Just be careful with your bristles because the rougher the surface and the rougher you try to wipe off the eyeshadow, it'll like ruin your bristles and we don't want that, especially if you spent a lot of money on your brushes. Take care of them. So we're gonna tap right into that purple and we're gonna put it right in our, um, right under where we have our black on our waterline. Let me scoot a little. Ooh, my bad guys. And we're gonna connect it to the purple that we have on the outer edges from the top. And go right in, make sure you guys can see, and go right into there like this from there. So like so. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm gonna go back into the eyeliner that we used earlier. Dang. <laughs> and this brush right here, I usually use this for black when I'm putting it under my lid. And I'm gonna put it literally just right under your waterline because we don't wanna cover up the purple that we already have there. We just wanna put a little more black right there so it gives a more smoky effect like I was saying earlier when we were blending the purple under there. We're gonna just tap a little bit and very ever so lightly put it under there like so to bring it down just a little bit. You can also use eyeshadow instead of this. I just like using this for doing that in this situation. Now honestly, after blending in that black under here under our waterline, it just inspired me to put a tiny bit of black right in here in this just curved area of our eyelid on the outer sides. And we're going to do that. So I'm um, using this brush right here and I want you to see it close up because it is very tiny and narrow and that's what we want in this situation. So we're going to go back into the Warrior 2 palette. And we're gonna use black. There's two different kind of black. There's a more like muted black over here, and then like a darker black. We're gonna go into the dark black. Tap tap, and we're just gonna literally just place it into the inner corners and connect it to the black that we have down here. You can you can blend it up into the curve, only right about here if you want, 
or you could just keep it literally right here. Whatever floats your boat. Keep doing those circular blending techniques. Yes! Oh, I'm extra, but that really just brought it together. That brought it to life. That right there. We love to see it. <laughs> okay, now that we have our black on and we're all in depth and we're striking and we're looking good, we're gonna put some highlight on our brow bone. You might be able to tell that I already have some there because when I was doing my um, foundation and everything, my face makeup, I got ahead of myself and went ahead and put some, but I kind of want a little more, so we're gonna do that now. <laughs> Use this. We're just using a fan brush. I love using a fan brush for this part. Very light and it gets it right where you want it every time. I used to use a different brush and it would never put it where I wanted it and I would always be irritated. We just want it legit right on the brow bone. And that's it, like that. 10 out of 10. And I'll also put it on my cheeks, even though this video isn't about that. <laughs> And now the time has come. We are finally putting in our glitter. Today we are using the e.l.f. glitters, quick glitter eyeshadow glitters. This is my first time trying them. They're so cute, but e.l.f. kind of tried a little bit with his packaging size. This is how big the box is. This is a different color I have, more pink. Thought about using this one too, but we're gonna go a teeny bit more brown to keep the fall vibes, keep the fall vibes. But um, Yeah, look how big this box is, the packaging box. And look how tiny the, like, what's happening? What's happening? But, not point, still love you all. We're gonna just put a little bit on right where our um eyeshadow is, the um lighter nudish eyeshadow is. Bring it into the inner corner. And out. Put it all in the area where you have that eyeshadow. And, even, and make sure you like, since it's real close to the crease, keep your eyes open, because if you close it and open it, then it's gonna get higher up and it's gonna be annoying. And I'm tapping with my finger to give it more of like, so it isn't like just like a random like line to soften that line a little bit on the edge. So, all right guys, now that we have our glitter on, I'm gonna go and throw on some eyelashes and I'll be right back with the final product. All right guys, and this is our final product. I went and put on my lashes and my lipstick, forgot to say that in the last clip. And yeah, this is it. Make sure you guys can see a little closer up. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy to follow and something that you would do from now on. If you guys decide to do this look, make sure you tag me in all my social medias. I have that link down below. I would be really, it would be really exciting to see that. And, oh, and before I go, if you have any recommendations of what you would like to see next, gaming and makeup wise, let me know. If you want me to try out some products, anything like that, let me know down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and put on those post notif notification. notifications so that you'll be alerted when I post a video. And until next time, is it on my teeth? No, okay. 